Moving on, more and more voters are turning their backs on Korea's two biggest political parties and toward independent candidates leading up to next week's local elections. Adang News' Chi Myung Gil reports on the say these voters will have on June 4th. The closer we draw to election day, the more apparent it becomes that independent voters will decide the results, especially in the city of Busan. A conservative stronghold and Gwangju, the traditional home ground of liberals. Of all voters on election day, a survey conducted by Embrain suggests that nearly 44 percent will be voters with no party affiliation. This holds extra meaning in Busan and Gwangju. In the ruling Henry Party's home turf of Busan, polls show independent candidate Ogodon up by nearly four percentage points over the ruling party's Ho Byung Su in the race for the mayor. Oh's popularity saw a boost after a candidacy merger on May 16th with Kim Young-chun of the main opposition New Politics Alliance for Democracy in an effort to unite liberal votes. Over in the race for mayor of Gwangju, right in the middle of the main opposition's home ground, the liberal candidate Yoon Jang-hyun finds himself trailing behind two independent candidates, Kang Eun-tae and Lee yong seop and it could get worse for him as polls show that if the two independent candidates were to merge, Kang's polling numbers would double those of Yoon's. Yang Kang withdrew from the main opposition party to run as independents in protest of party co-leader An Cheol Su's influence in the nomination of Yoon. According to the National Election Commission on Monday, some 2.4 million more people will be able to vote in these local elections, up 6.3 percent from the last ones in 2010. The increase was attributed to the aging and growth of Korea's overall population. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.